kidney infection, also known as pyelonephritis. It's a serious condition that can lead to complications if you leave it untreated. It's important to seek urgent medical advice if you think you have a kidney infection. In this video, I'll go through what you need to know and what you're looking out for. This is important because if you leave a kidney infection untreated, it can lead to complications such as sepsis or kidney damage. Why kidney infections occur? Well, most kidney infections happen from bacteria or viruses entering the urinary tract, and the most common cause is E. coli. There are several risk factors that can predispose you to having kidney infections. Watch my video on UTIs to see common risk factors for developing infections in the urinary tract. Symptoms and kidney infection, and what does a kidney infection feel like? Well, your symptoms may vary depending on your age, but common symptoms you might experience include pain in your abdomen or your lower back, nausea and vomiting, feeling that you have to pee often, burning when you pee, blood in your urine, bad smelling or cloudy urine, chills, also described as rigors, and fevers, kidney infection pain, and where does a pain occur? Can kidney infections cause back pain? Well, my top tip is to press the area above your hips and that's in the lower part of your back and that's generally where your kidneys are. It's useful to know where your kidneys are to look for tenderness. If you're getting pain or tenderness when you press this area, it could mean that you have problems with your kidneys. These could include kidney stones or infections. The pain that you get is typically on one side and it can range from mild to severe. Can kidney infections cause back pain? Well, the pain occurs because the kidneys are located in the back of your body, and that's when the kidneys get infected, there's inflammation and swelling on the surrounding tissue, and that can cause pain. This inflammation and swelling can put pressure on the nerves in this area, leading to you feeling sore. Will kidney infections show up in my urine test, and how is it diagnosed? Well, there's several steps involved in getting a diagnosis for kidney infections. Normally you see a doctor and we'll ask you many questions like your symptoms, your health, your past medical history. Next we do a physical exam. Your doctor will examine you around your abdomen, especially your lower back, and look for any pain, tenderness or skin changes. Number three, we usually do a urine test and this is a urine sample which we normally dip to see what bugs are inside and we usually send this to the lab for urine culture. The lab will check for bacteria and give us a report on what's inside your urine. Watch my video on male UTIs to watch my top tips on collecting a urine sample and it's useful to ask for a urine pot at reception or to take a urine sample with you to the practice for testing. Extra tests you might need include blood tests to look for signs of infection or scans to look for any problems in your kidneys. You may need referral to a urologist to look into the cause or treatments that you might need. Kidney infections treatments and kidney infection medications, which do you need? Well, most kidney infections need prompt treatments with antibiotics to stop complications such as kidney damage or sepsis. To prevent urinary tract infections, follow my tips in my other videos, including keeping well hydrated and good hygiene. Kidney infection antibiotics and which are the best antibiotics for a kidney infection? While your doctor will prescribe you antibiotics depending on the type of bacteria causing it, what your symptoms are like and your past medical history, so these are individual to you. My top tip is it's very important to take the medication as your doctor has prescribed. This is to prevent resistance and to make sure we treat the infection completely. Common antibiotics we use are ciprofloxacin, trimethoprim, penicillin-based antibiotics, keftrioxone if we need to give it to you intravenously. Kidney infection treatments without antibiotics. This is not recommended because the most effective way to treat a kidney infection is antibiotics, and that's because we want to kill the bacteria that's causing the infection. Antibiotics are the best way to eliminate the bacteria causing the infection. Kidney infection home remedies. Well, there are some simple things you can do at home to support your body's natural healing process. This includes drinking plenty of water when you have an infection, which can help flush out any bacteria and prevent dehydration. Number two, get plenty of rest. Sleeping and resting can help you recover and heal from an infection. Number three, apply heat. Applying a warm compress or a hot water bottle in areas where you have pain can help ease the discomfort. 
Number four, using pain relief. You can use over-the-counter pain relief to help reduce your fever and your pain. My top tip is if you're having pain and you have a kidney infection, it's best to avoid NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. This is because these medications can further increase the risk of kidney problems and should not be taken unless your doctor advises you to. Kidney infections and when to go to hospital. If you think you have a kidney infection, you need to seek urgent help to prevent the complications developing and going to hospital and including for symptoms such as shivering, vomiting, blood in your urine, kidney pain, having had a recent urinary infection and your symptoms have got worse. In the hospital, you might need treatments such as IV fluids. These are fluids given into your veins and IV antibiotics. Antibiotics administered straight into your veins to help kill the infection. Kidney infection recovery time. While most people who are diagnosed and treated promptly with antibiotics feel better in around two weeks, people who are older or have underlying health conditions may take longer to recover. If it still hurts after you have a kidney infection, well, if you're currently having a kidney infection and you're taking antibiotics, it can take a few days to start feeling better, but it's recommended to get urgent help if your symptoms are getting worse. My top tip is if you're on antibiotics and you're not feeling better, speak to your doctor to get further advice because your circumstances are unique to you. In some cases, the bacteria causing your infection might not be sensitive to this type of antibiotics or there's another cause of your infection, such as possibly kidney stones. Remember that kidney infections are serious infections and the inflammation and irritation that go on on the surrounding tissue can take a while to get better, even after your antibiotics. When kidney infections turn septic, this is potentially life-threatening. Sepsis is a medical emergency that occurs when your body's immune system overreacts to infection and begins to attack its own cells. This can lead to organ failure, septic shock, and that's why we need to treat this urgently. Kidney infections versus UTIs. Well, a UTI is an infection that affects any part of your urinary tract, and that can include your bladder, your urethra, your ureters, and your kidneys. Well, a kidney infection is also known as pyelonephritis, and this is a type of UTI that specifically affects the kidneys. The symptoms of a UTI and a kidney infection can be similar, but a kidney infection is generally more serious and more severe. Symptoms usually include back pain, fever, nausea and vomiting, and shivering. So can a kidney infection kill you? Well, a kidney infection, if you leave it untreated and it becomes something like sepsis or you get kidney failure, it could lead to potentially life-threatening consequences. But it's important to remember that that is rare and in most circumstances, if you get treated early, you won't have any long-term complications. So in conclusion, a kidney infection is a serious infection that you need to get treated urgently. If you have a kidney infection, get urgent medical advice. Treatment usually include IV fluids, IV antibiotics, or oral antibiotics, lots of fluids and rest. Remember that prevention is the best way to prevent a kidney infection and take steps to ensure that you have good urinary tract health. Thank you for watching.